Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4, and today I want to show you the Traxxas TRX4 scale crawler. Uh, if you do see some wet spots around on it, uh, that's no big deal. I just washed it so it wasn't so dirty for the showing it off. Um, anyways, this thing has tons of scale details, like uh, right up here in the front, there's lots of them, like this light. Uh, assembly here all these lenses are uh, actually molded they're actually I think one piece back here and then this plastic piece has a black in the grill that's also molded uh, the grill up here is molded and you can see there's uh, two uh, almost like fans in the front there uh, so they did a very nice job detailing up the front end uh, carrying through the design, um, you got these nice fenders. Uh, I don't think they're too obnoxious. Uh, they do look very nice on here, and it covers up most of the wheel, but not completely. Uh, moving back here, um, the roll bar kind of uh, roof rack starts, and it is supported throughout um, the truck here. And there's a snorkel over here on the side right here um, as well as mirrors on both sides as you would expect uh, the roof rack is really nice I really like how they integrated the um, body posts into here uh, usually it's a real pain getting a body off where the body posts are back here if there's a roof rack but they did a really nice job so that it's still easy to get to and continuing to the rear, uh, you will notice that there is two fuel cans right here and a high lift jack as well as a spare tire here, which is, these are all mounted to the body. Um, there is D-rings on the rear here on the bumper as well as a trailer receiver hitch uh, right in here. Uh, the lights back here are molded also, as well as the license plate right here. And uh, let's see, what else we got? They kind of have a spare tire carrier. Uh, you can barely see it. Spare tire carrier uh, molded in there. You can't really see it. You gotta really gotta look for it. But um, one of the other things I noticed is on the front end here. The winch, even though it is not functional, there's a sticker here so that it looks like it has cable spooled on it, which is really nice touch. If you want to get into a little more detail with it, uh, they actually include inner fenders with the truck as ready to run, uh, which are attached to the body, not the actual frame of the truck. Uh, I found that really nice. On the rear also, they have them. Can see that which is it's really nice because you can't see all the electronics inside uh, it's really something that people are starting to get into is more of the scale scene recently um, so the other thing is the rock sliders here um, the body fits into them really nicely uh, there's a lip there and the body kind of rides on it just like that uh, so we can go ahead and remove the body now and talk about some of the performance things that are going on for this truck. So one of the things about having all the inner fenders and things on this body is that it is a little bit more difficult to remove than your average pin-on body. And uh, the windows are not clear, uh, sadly, but I don't know if you can expect much more than that for it ready to run. Uh, so here you can see all the fenders in here. They did a really nice job. They fit around the shock mounts or the shock hoops really well. Uh, there's bracing, small piece of bracing up in here for your roll bar. And the rest of the roll bar mounts with this, uh, the rear fenders right here. They mount kind of behind it. Um, you do have these two posts that stick into your rear bumper to kind of keep it from swaying. I do believe that's why they put those there. 
And uh, you will notice that this body is very rigid for a Lexan body, which is really awesome because most Lexan bodies are kind of flimsy. But uh, because of all the fender wells and this bracing that they have in here, the rear is braced really well uh, because of the spare tire. So uh, it's a very rigid body. And normally I don't like uh, the spare tire mounted to the body just because it's super flimsy. But Traxxas did a really nice job of making a sturdy mount. Uh, I've actually caught the rear tire on obstacles before and it didn't really flex it all that much. And uh, the only sticker that I was kind of uh, disappointed by was, uh, or not really disappointed, but uh, could have been plastic molded, is right here. Uh, there's a fuel fill for the Land Rover, um, and it could be plastic molded, so it actually goes in instead of kind of shadowing it, but uh, I can understand that it would be difficult with all of the other things going on inside of it. So Traxxas did a really nice job on this Land Rover Defender body. Uh, it is licensed and uh, that's really awesome that they got it licensed instead of kind of uh, doing a different kind of design. This one follows the real one really well. So uh, it's definitely following the scale theme. Continuing on to the inside here, um, you can see how they have everything set up. On this side, you have the two-speed transmission shift uh, servo right here. And on the other side here, you have, um, these are your servos for locking differentials. Which uh, are awesome. I really like the open and the ability to lock and unlock the differentials. Uh, the portal axles, they give great ground clearance. Uh, oops. They give you really great ground clearance. If you can see that in here, uh, it gives you at least a half inch higher uh, than where it would be. You can see the gearboxes right here where they are geared down uh, right there. And the rear is also portal axle which is awesome. I really like that. And you really don't notice how much ground clearance it gives you until you really look for it. Uh, the other trucks, the links kind of have to come down because the axle sits much lower. The whole bottom of this truck is pretty much flat, which is really great for uh, obstacles that you might get hung up on. And uh, it gives you really great clearance. Uh, in here you'll see their battery tray. I'll show you that right here. So you just push this little tab down here and you can pull this flap out and uh, kind of spin it out. And you can pull out your LiPo battery or whatever battery you'd like to use. Uh, I've only run 2S through this but you can run a 3S pack if you so desire. And I used the 5000 milliamp battery. And there is two settings you'll see. There's a 23 millimeter setting and the 26 millimeter setting for the different thicknesses of your battery. The 26 millimeter fits my battery really nicely. It's really snug in there. As far as the position of the battery in the chassis, uh, I think it's a pretty good spot for it. Uh, it keeps the weight really centered on the truck so you don't feel too front heavy or too rear heavy. Um, right here you can see the 21 turn motor which seems like a really high turn motor for a scale truck but uh, this truck here has so much uh, gearing that it actually makes this 21 turn motor almost feel like a 35 turn motor in your SCX10 single speed transmission. Um, let's see here you got your radio box the whole truck is waterproof according to Traxxas. Everything is waterproof. Uh, your speed control is over here. And uh, they do have floor pans molded into rock sliders. So another thing I like about this truck is the plastic rock sliders. And normally I'm not a very big fan of them because of how flimsy they are. Uh, usually they'll fold right into the body. 
and kind of uh, mash the body rather than actually doing their job. But Traxxas did a really nice job of designing these so that they're rigid. You can kind of see they got bracing on the bottom and they're mounted really nice. So they don't really fold up. You can actually pick up the truck without them really folding all that much. So it really saves your body in an incident where you actually have to use them. So um, talking about the speed and its crawling ability, uh, low gear is really nice. Um, it gives you uh, a lot of control, I feel, and uh, it's not when you start to get on the throttle, it doesn't feel like it can't go slow enough, although it could go slower. And in high gear, it definitely flies around pretty good for a scale truck. Uh, another feature that you might notice is the, uh, the servo is not mounted on the axle like some other trucks. Uh, you can actually see that they have it mounted up here and they actually have a pan hard bar right here so that you avoid bump steer, uh, which is a problem with mounting your servo up here. Uh, also, the front bumper uh, is nice and rigid. It's not amazing, but it's good for a plastic bumper, and you can adjust it in and out if you so desire to. Uh, the rear bumper is also fairly rigid on here, and uh, that's one of the things that stood out on this truck to me is there's a ton of plastic on it, uh, but it really really isn't that big of a problem because it's so rigid and uh, it's almost like you don't need to purchase all those metal upgrades. So uh, we can go ahead and start it up and show you some of the things on here. Is uh, So we can start the remote, uh, just this little switch on the bottom, your green light comes on and uh, we can go ahead plug in the battery and flip it over to the other side. There is a button. I do kind of wish it was just a switch rather than this button. You have to hold this down for a split second until that green light flashes and then it will glow solid. So uh, that's high gear. High is on this red switch. High gear is down. Low gear is up. So we go ahead and it'll click into low gear. And there is servo savers on all of these micro servos because uh, you have to give it a little bit of throttle so that it can click into gear or the differentials can click into their positions. There's this little feature that I noticed that I don't think a lot of people know about here. So if you have your truck, uh, the Traxxas TRX4 plugged in, uh, whatever gear you have it in and uh, the trucks all running and good and you shut the remote off listen here hear that servo move it just went into the, it just put the transmission into neutral so that you can roll it around so the remote is off if you turn the remote off first it will put the truck into neutral turn the remote back on neutral so you gotta switch it into your gear um, on this this is your differential lock switch right here so all the way back is completely unlocked all of the differentials are unlocked front and rear uh, so we flip this switch up right here and it locks the front differential as you can see there and the rear differential is still open and then we can go ahead and flip this one more time it will lock the rear differential and the front differential stays locked so now the truck is completely locked up true four wheel drive now and this is all the traction that you'll ever need really or all the drive line can do uh, the tires, I think they're good for ready to run. I see a lot of people upgrading them, and uh, I may do that in the future. 
they're not the scaleless tire as they are fairly wide but as I said before they're good for ready to run uh, I think the traction they give is uh, fairly good I haven't really had much problem with it uh, in the sand it kind of digs in uh, in the rear it'll dig in a lot and then it makes it kind of difficult to get over that obstacle once you've dug in and uh, some people say that there's too much weight on the rear with all the accessories on the body but uh, I think it's fairly well weighted I haven't found it too heavy in the rear but with having the roll cage up on the top and how high it sits it is a little bit top heavy so kind of a thing to watch out for uh, it does look like you get aluminum shock bodies and these are adjustable um, shocks they're only single stage they're not dual stage uh, like a lot of the shocks you'll find out there but uh, anyway I think this is a really awesome truck for all the features you get but uh, anyways we'll have a running video coming up soon uh, I am trying out a little bit different lighting for this video so if you guys like that let me know but uh, other than that you got your owner's manual here and take that out does look like you get a different uh, bumper mount maybe in here is what this is uh, This is how you register for your warranty. You should probably do that. Um, you get uh, a nice tool set here uh, with your basic Allen wrenches and your cross wrench for your wheels. Um, get some Traxxas stickers, uh, your quick start guide, and the owner's manual sort of here. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Uh, that's the Traxxas TRX4, and uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the truck and the lighting. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.